Hey guys, this is Mac has an on with our latest Mac app. So this app is called File Tools. You can download it from our website or a link in the description. When you open it up, it allows you to set things on a file that you wouldn't normally have access to. So if I have a sample file here, if we right click it and say, um, first of all, we can we can say get info just by pressing Command I. We don't even have to right click. But uh, if you have a look, you'll see the created date. Um, and the modified date. And you'll also see the software that was used to encode it. Now, this is kind of uh, annoying because people will be able to tell what operating system you used and when you made it, etc. So if you want to have better file privacy, you can go into our app, click on File Dates, click this little thing, select Samples, um, and now you'll be able to modify the date that it was created and modified. So let's make it created and modified on the 12th. It'll save automatically. We can look back. It was created yesterday. Now we can also do something very cool. We can change it to tomorrow by setting it to the 14th. And now it was created tomorrow. So this is really easy. It's easy to mess with this thing, and it's pretty hilarious that it actually says created tomorrow. Um, so that's pretty amusing. Um, you'll probably get a kick out of that. Now we can go to the QuickTime dates to get rid of the encoding software right there. So if we open it up, we drag it in. Um, we click open, we click clear timestamps, and now um, if we close this up, press I again, looks like the encoding software is not there. Now, last opened is just a uh, metadata, so if we copy this file, let's just copy it, um, and then we press info, the, it'll become the modification date, so if you want to change that, just go back in here. Let's say we want to make it on the 4th. Um, you just change that date. You can then copy this file. Then the new copy will have a different last open date. So that's how you change the last open date. You just have to make a copy of the file. And it will change to the date modified. I think that's very uh, easy to do. Now, before I do that, on the Mac, there's hidden files. So we can go to File Flags. Select the file here. And we can check if it's hidden. If we hide it, it won't be there. If we unhide it, it will be there. We can also make it so Finder shows us hidden files, like they'll show you this, it'll show you .ds store. I like that being off. Um, anyway, I'll hide the file and hide it one more time. Now, the last thing you know about your, you should know, is that when on your Mac, when you delete a file, it actually just deletes a reference to the file. It doesn't actually wipe over the data that the file had. So it's very hard to actually get rid of a file, even if you delete it and empty your trash. So to do this, we go into secure delete, click dot dot dot, drag it in, and now we can wipe it for good. So I'll overwrite it 35 times. I'll say overwrite the date. I will randomize the data that's overwritten. And I'll move it to the trash so we can see that it's not valid. If you don't check this, it'll just delete it. And I'll make it play a sound. So let's wipe that. We can look in my trash and it seems like this is the latest one and it's corrupted so that's pretty pretty awesome um, so that's our latest app so thanks for watching Mac is one uh, check out the download in the description and goodbye